Job. You catch on quick. Had to learn fast in my neighborhood. Uh, take the girl out of the streets, but you can't take the streets out of the girl, is that it? <laughs> Something like that. Okay, why don't uh, why don't we use this one for our lead and this one for the backup? They seem to capture the essence of the story. The others illustrate specific detail. What do you think? That was my first case too. Good. Now we need is Miss Adamson's vote. Where is she? She should have been back hours ago. Uh, she was here right after lunch, and then she left again. Maybe she went up to talk to Matt. No, she didn't. She got a phone call and took off. Well, why didn't she say something? No way am I getting in the middle of this battle. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, you two obviously have something very intense going on, and I want no part of it. I mean... Maybe I'm gun-shy, especially after this morning. Because of that thing with Wendy? Besides, I have enough problems of my own to contend with. Did Sunny say where she was going? No, she just left here, mad as a hatter at you. So well, I'm the one that should be ticked off. I did see her write down some uh, directions. Sunny said if you're going to fly solo, then so is she. Ace and Canal. The lady's going to get herself killed. <laughs> need help. I think we can do something for them right here. Liza, I'm not going to let you clutter up my station with a lot of juvenile delinquents. The tape's going to be ready in 10 minutes, Mrs. White. Thank you. You are deliberately missing my point. I want to do public service announcements for the shelter. We need to enlist volunteers right away. Oh, Stephanie, people need to know about this place. You don't realize how desperate the situation is. And what do you think my situation is right now? I have copy to edit. I have tapes to look at, and Sonny Adamson is not here yet. And if you remember, she is the anchor on my show. Rick, have you seen Sonny yet? No, maybe she didn't make it. Please call her and find out. Now look, Stephanie, you don't... Look, please, try to understand what I'm up against right now. I do not have the time to talk to you about your personal crusade. Then I will wait, and we will talk about this after your show. Thank you. Will you please wait in the green room? Sonny's not in makeup. Nobody's even seen her tonight. Oh, for sake. Hello? Has anyone seen Jack Denton? Uh, well, I, I that he may have to go on for Sunday at the 6 o'clock news. All right, fine. Look, give me a second. Get the copy of Jack, time to look at it, and make up, and then time to get his bottom down here. Martin, oh, hi. Good evening, Eliza. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, I, I'm trying to get some cover for the few days shelter. What are you doing here? Oh, well, uh, Mandy here works at the club, and she wanted to see a live TV show. 
Hi, how are you? This is Hi. my niece, Eliza Santel, Miss Mandy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, yes, it's uh, lively tonight. And if I were you, I would stay away from the chiefs on the warpath. Mm -hmm. Was that Sonny Addison on the phone? No, I'm afraid not. It's just the final in the hockey game. Uh, may I use the phone now? Yeah, sure. Uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, if I don't get an alpha today, it'll be a miracle. I don't suppose this is a good day then for Mandy to tour Channel 6. Oh, no, I'm delighted to have you here. Ten minutes, everybody. Ten Bye. minutes. Please. Absolutely amazing, Stephanie, working under this kind of pressure. Oh, I don't mind the everyday, Sister. Do you realize what's happened? Ten minutes to camera, and Sonny Adamson is not here yet, and she hasn't even called him. Well, she must have a good excuse. She better, because when I find her, I'm going to skin her alive, and then I'm going to fire her. I'm cold for you to get out of class. I'm not leaving. Fine, then I will. No, Wendy. What do you think you're doing? I'm not going to let you trap me like this. No, 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 no. <sighs> well, maybe Sonny ran out of gas or got a flat. Things like that can happen when you least expect them. I, I tell you what, Liza, could you have her call me when she gets to the studio? I'll hang back. Yeah, sure I will. Uh, Kristen, I don't mean to transfer my gear to you. It's just, it's not like Sunny to be late. Jenna's in the warehouse. Well, the I'll call you later. Yeah. Okay. Jenna's in the warehouse. Bye-bye. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. I'm going to get some hair. The fire case all set, Mr. White. Thank you. Can you get makeup? I can see my reflection in the forehead. Yeah, sure. Makeup? Down, please. Go in my office. Have a cup of coffee. Relax. Watch the show from in there. Mandy, uh, why don't you stay with me and you can stay until the 10 second count now. Oh, Freddie. I'll see you all later. <clears throat> Martin tells me you're interested in a career in television. Martin's a key to real gentleman. You're quite a lady, Mrs. Wyatt. Are you interested in, um, on camera or behind the scenes? Well, so fascinating, I'd appreciate anything, any position, just so I can break into this business. Well, we're both professional. Reciprocity is the name of the game. Places, everybody, please. Places. Deal. You aren't going to hoard information. We're partners, and you've forgotten that already. Don't start giving me that teamwork, Jazz. You're the one who cut me out of the little action you have going on the outside. What are you talking about? You know, I want to get all of my better instincts to include you in this investigation. And what do you do? I don't know. You tell me. I have had it with your rendezvous, your payoffs, your secret meetings. Do us both a big favor, okay? Don't ever bring up that partnership bit again. You're way out of line, sunshine. Look, I don't owe you an explanation. I'm not about to offer you one. Whatever you say. You always make the rules, don't you? Old one-way McCleary. Yeah, I'd say that's a fairly apt description of you. I'd say you're still shooting from the hip. Go. Just go now. And leave you here alone. That's the idea. I'm going to wait for Slavin alone, and I'm going to file my story alone. I guess you don't need me, do you? You got it. You can read all about it in the Morning Herald.
film. not from this neighborhood. Yeah, it looks too professional to me. Quick and clean is from behind. These riverfronts laid artists, they usually do a good job on the gut. You know, Lieutenant, I can't help but wonder if Sonny Adamson was the intended murder victim. What are you saying, that the victim here was just the wrong person at the wrong time? What could be? You're reaching, Emerson, but your friends have probably more to tell us. I've got something to tell you. Yeah, let's see. Well, that means uh, Blade Runner was probably hanging around here waiting. And when the lab guys get here to vacuum the area, maybe we'll pick up some shoe fibers. In the meantime, I don't want any thrill seekers stomping on the evidence. I've got the whole area cordoned off. There's a man posted down the far end of the alley, and we'll, we'll keep the car off the gate until the investigation team gets here. You do that? How long did you say you were waiting in this alleyway, Miss Adamson? About 40 minutes, I guess. 40 minutes in the freezing cold. Well, it must have been something really important to have brought here and kept here under those circumstances. Come on, Bowman, what are you trying to say? I'll make it simple for you, McCleary. This doesn't seem to be Miss Adamson's regular turf, or yours anymore. So how is it the two of you are discovering bodies in an alleyway here? We're covering a story. Oh, right, of course. That always explains everything. Well, let me warn you, and especially your lady friend here. No more playing hide-and-seek behind the First Amendment, Miss Adamson. Last time you were impeding a criminal investigation, but this time, you'd be covering up a murder. Neither one of us would do that, and you know it. I'll tell you exactly what happened. I was waiting for an informant. Was he the, uh... Well, I'm gonna need a full statement from you. Fine, Marion, but now's not the time. Well, you're wrong. Now is the perfect time when the memory is still fresh. You might remember something that seemed insignificant at the I'll time. I'll never forget a single detail of it. Come on, Bowman. Can't you see that she's cold and exhausted? If you got a question, at least let's go indoors. Sure. Go down to the station and wait for me. But I, I really can't. I have to, to get to Channel 6. Marion, look at you. are going to be here half the night anyway. If you got a question her, question her in the morning. Won't disappear on me? You know where to find us. Okay, it's against my better judgment, but I want you in my office first thing in the morning, Miss Adamson. Okay. I'll park you around the corner. If you're in no condition to maneuver on two feet, let alone four wheels, I'll take you to the studio. You guys all right? We're not dead, Kristen. What are you doing here? Matt told me to cover homicide on 8th and Canal. I was really worried. Oh, we're fine, but I've got to get to Canal. Come on. Oh, wonderful. Just what I need. The fourth estate under foot. Uh, Miss Emerson, uh, don't you understand that this is a crime scene? Couldn't you read the sign we had posted out That's there? That's exactly why I'm here, Lieutenant. I'll just take a few shots and I'll be right out of here. Oh, come on, now's not the time right, for that. Take it easy, Bowman. You know something, Emerson? You should keep your wife on a leash. Give me a break. She's a free agent. Here it is. Kristen, you shouldn't be here. Now, taking pictures of buildings is one thing. Taking pictures of a murder scene, that's something else. Brian, I don't choose my assignments any more than you do. Look, I'm sorry, it's dangerous. I worry about you. So, remember, I spent half my childhood playing in alleys just like this. Child's imagination could turn a big crate into a castle. You're not a child anymore. Now you can see it for its ugliness. Kristen, I used to play in alleys like this, too. But, you know, you have to forget about that. Life goes on. Well, like Hogan said earlier, it's not so easy to take the streets out of the game. Oh, I think you've come a long way. Yeah, with your help. Anyway, about tonight, I, I just don't like to think of you in danger, that's all. Next time you have an assignment like this, why don't you just tell me? And maybe I can help you out. Look at you, you're freezing. Come on, get out of here before you get pneumonia. I'll send this back to you. There's no rush. I still got the one you gave me last week. Okay. Thanks. Brian, it's... Yes. Okay. 
Jack Benton for Sonny Adamson. You can join me for the news at 11. Have a good evening.
Lieutenant Bowman with a statement and then Stephanie. They'll probably fire me. Oh, you know, Travis and I wouldn't allow that to happen. The police detained you. It wasn't your fault. Drink this. Oh, maybe you're right. Things are so bad, they have to get better. Who ever said it's darkest before it's totally black? <laughs> Not Sonny Adamson. Nah, it wasn't me. Oh, what the heck? Maybe it's a, um, steaming hot TV dinner. <laughs> At least you're hungry. That's a good sign. <laughs> to a lovely lady. My secret admirer. You know, this is so ridiculous. The price of fame, Sonny. You mean infamy after tonight. Would you open this? That's the sweater. The sweater you tried on in the boutique. following me everywhere. This is how you forget Warren by carrying this thing around with you? Christian. Why don't you just I put it on a chain and wear it around your neck? Then everyone would know how you feel. You, you don't understand. No, I don't, and I'm going to stop trying.